Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for August 15th. Today's devotion is titled Convicted and Freed. The Bible reading is from Psalm chapter 32, verses 1 to 7. Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose, reco whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. I didn't do it. It was a lie, and I almost got away with it until God stopped me. When I was in middle school, I was part of a group shooting spitballs in the back of our band during our performance. Our director was an ex-Marine and famous for discipline, and I was terrified of him. So when my partners in crime implicated me, I lied to him about it. Then I lied to my father also. But God wouldn't allow the lie to go on. He gave me a very guilty conscience about it. After resisting for weeks, I relented. I asked God and my dad for forgiveness. A while later, I went to my director's house and tearfully confessed. Thankfully, he was kind and forgiving. I'll never forget how good it felt to have that burden lifted. I was free from the weight of guilt and happy for the first time in weeks. David describes a time of conviction and confession in his life too. He tells God, when I kept silent, my bones wasted away. For day and night, your hand was heavy on me. He continues, then I acknowledged my sin to you. Authenticity matters to God. He wants us to confess our sins to him and also to ask for forgiveness of those we've wronged. You forgave the guilt of my sin, David proclaims. How good it is to know the freedom of God's forgiveness. How has being authentic with God helped you? How has Jesus' forgiveness lightened your load and changed your life? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.